Hello Pisces and welcome to another reading by the Blessing Foundry. Today's reading will be a daily read to look at your current situation, what might be hidden, and we'll take a quick peek into love, career, finances, and overall to see what guidance um, and what might be coming for you, okay? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you much for your continued support. Guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, if I be light and above, please come near. Please connect with the Pisces Collective, the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel to get the messages showing up in your reading, Pisces, high priestess, and to get the message that Pisces needs for their soul's journey. Please be clear and concise. All right. A couple more shuffles just to get the energy in the cards right. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to do so. I really appreciate your support. All right. And for those that are celebrating the holidays, happy holidays to you. Just a reminder that when you come here, you're never alone. So if you're feeling lonely or any kind of, you know, type of way, come here and we can be part of the energy together. All right. All right, so Pisces, what is your current situation today? King of Swords. So you may in fact have a masculine air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your presence or in your myths. However, this is also a card of having clarity and discernment and taking um, leadership over your life. This can also reference legal situations, attorneys, legal systems, things like that. We will get clarification as we go. And what might Pisces feelings be today? The moon. So you may have some things that you just don't see yet, or you might be kind of um, feeling a little bit blue. Um, some of you just might feel like there's just something there, but you can't quite put a finger on it. That's kind of like muting your spirits a little bit. Um, what is hidden from Pisces that they don't see right now? Fool, you have a new beginning coming, Pisces. You don't see it. This is hidden. You have a new opportunity right at your doorstep, right in front of you. You're right on the edge of stepping off into a new adventure. And what does Pisces need to know about love today? Wow, we have the Six of Cups Pisces. So, you know, fond memories of love. Somebody, um, a past life lover, not that you know them in this lifetime, you know, might be coming into your life. That might be what the new beginning is. Or somebody from your past might be thinking about you. Or you might be thinking about them. This is definitely, you know, the six of the six is a number of harmony and relationships, and you know, cups is emotions. So this is, you know, definitely um, pleasant emotions and a pleasant experience regarding love. And what does Pisces need to know about career and finances? Page of Cups. So for some of you, this may in fact. Um, be an audition or interview that you're going to be having or it could in fact be a job offer or some type of um, some type of beneficial offer that's coming to you in career and finances and what does Pisces need to know in general star so you know you're heading towards wish fulfillment Pisces it, having that hope and that renewal we do see you know what's hidden is a new beginning and then we have in general we have the star card so that's very promising for a new beginning that's going to fulfill your desires and what is the likely outcome today when pisces reads this reads this video <laughs> watches this video ten of pentacles pisces so definitely working towards your security and stability and your ultimate um fulfillment the things you have work so diligently for are coming together um, into successful completion. And we have the Six of Swords on the bottom, so definitely moving forward into a better new beginning, moving away from any type of disruption um, into calmer waters. Do be careful of any type of mental energy that might be weighing you down as you go forward. What is this spirit, please? So Pisces, what this message is, clarify this message further for Pisces. What is this King of Swords for today's situation when they watch this? What is this King of Swords for Pisces? Hold on one minute. Ten of Cups. So Pisces, you know, I see that there's decisions being made 
that are leading you to your ultimate happy and you, happy, your ultimate happy, your ultimate happiness and your ultimate emotional fulfillment. Um, this might, of course, be a legal decision that is in your favor that brings happiness. Or again, as we were saying earlier, if there's a masculine air sign, um, they could be coming together to um, contribute to your happiness as well. Let me get one more card for this. Spirit, please give one more card to clarify the King of Swords. One more card to clarify the King of Swords, please. One more card to clarify the King of Swords for today's situation. One more card to clarify the King of Swords for today. Okay, what is this? So, Pisces, it does in fact seem that there might be an opportunity for commitment coming forward, a decision to be happy um, in some type of structure or commitment or organization. But, the, you know, it does seem like there's something very foundational and very um, clear that you're going to make a decision around or have a something present to you that's going to lead to your happiness. And what is this moon card for Pisces feelings? What is this moon card for Pisces feelings today? And we get the high priest like jumping out and this was, you know, at the beginning of the shuffle too. So now, you know, the moon card and the high priest is, um, you're feeling yourself Pisces, right? Because we have the moon and the high priest. So you're definitely vibing in your own energy right now. Let's see. Let's get some more cards for the moon card. I'll be crazy. It'll be crazy if the nine of cups comes out too. What is this? One more card for this moon card, please, Spirit. One more card for this moon card for Pisces feelings today. Two of swords. One more card for this moon card, please. You're, okay. Thank you. One more card for this moon card, please, Spirit. Hold on. One more card for this moon card. Please clarify this moon card. Okay, so Pisces, it looks as though you may, because the moon card is in your feelings, so it seems like there is a situation you might not have had all the facts about, or that you might have been in the dark about, but you're having the clear discernment and making a decision on how to move forward, and your energy is shifting in this situation, because you're, you're getting that insight, and that clarity, and discerning clearly, um, and balancing your heart with your head, um, and that's in allowing the energy to move floor, forward, wow, forward, Pisces, into this new beginning. Um, but as you come out of the darkness, as you get more clarity, um, tap into your subconscious to have that intuition and that inner knowing. You're going to be able to um, see clearly, take the blindfolds off, and gain balance, and have the flow begin again. And what is this full card for what is hidden for Pisces, please, Spirit? What is this full card for what is hidden for Pisces? What is this full for what is hidden for Pisces, please? What is this full card for what is hidden for Pisces, please, Spirit? What is a full card for what is hidden for Pisces? And we have the Knight of Cups. So there may be an emotional offer coming forward or, you know, moving forward with a new emotional offer or proposal or romantic offer. Um, a new beginning. One more card. Okay, so the Ace of Wands is also a phallic love stick, if you know what I'm saying. So it could be somebody coming and wanting a new beginning, a romantic opportunity with you um, because you make their love stick large. Um, pardon the inferences, but I think you get what I mean. Um, what else is this full card, please, Spirit? Show Pisces what else this full card is, please. Hold on. What else is this full card? Any other messages around the full? Any other? Nine of Cups. So Pisces, we see here a new beginning that is going to lead to wish fulfillment. So this can be somebody coming with a new beginning or offering a new beginning, um, a romantic proposal for a new beginning because you are their wish fulfillment. And we do also have the star card here. So there's two cards of wishes and wish fulfillment. They can also be coming forward because they would like to have a new beginning and would like to tr attempt to move forward romantically um, and intimately to get lucky. That's only going to be for a couple of you. I'm not really picking up sexual opportunistic energies, but more so a revival and a really wanting to move forward um, 
in a situation. Again, um, we have the page of cups here in the career and finances. So this can be that offer coming forward and the page of cups can be accepting it as well. So let's see anything else to get off this. So, I mean, either way, you, you don't, you don't see this coming Pisces. And I think this has been kind of what's been in the energy for a while. Um, but as you, you get clarity or, or at, okay, thank you, spirit. Somebody else is getting clarity. Also, they're getting clarity and it could in fact be a masculine air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. It does not have to be. We also have Taurus represented and we have Pisces represented and we have want, want, wands, um, fire represented. So it could effectively be any sign, but we do have the energy of decision-making, taking a stand, moving towards committed happiness, coming out of the dark and having clarity. You know, and it could be that this person is making this decision about you, Pisces, and they're they're getting coming out of the moon energy, out of the darkness, and seeing the light, and making the decision to move forward for this new beginning, to extend an offer of love and a new beginning. Again, this can be in career or finance or love as well. It doesn't just have to be love. Take it as it resonates with your situation, please. Um, but here, what is hidden is this new beginning is hidden from you. You don't you don't see it coming. Um, it's a romantic proposal for a new beginning and wish fulfillment. This this will lead to, um, should you choose to accept, <laughs> right? This will lead to abundance and satisfaction um, for you and the other person or the other person. So, but yeah, this is definitely the new beginning. You don't see this new beginning coming. Um, what is the Six of Cups in Love for Pisces? And so we have the Six of Cups in Love for Pisces. Um, so this could, in fact, be a soulmate. And what I just got is that um, this person has seen you, you, but not necessarily engaged, but they want to come to you now um, because they've made a decision and they've had clarity and they want a beginning with you, Pisces. So they want to come together. For some of you, it could, in fact, be somebody from the past. I'm not really picking up... Um, X energy at all. I'm picking up um, more like a youthful, new, spontaneous, let's get to know each other energy rather than, oh, we already know each other and we've been through whatever. So take it as it resonates. It could be a number of things. So what is the Six of Cups for Pisces and love, please? What is the Six of Cups? Thank you. So it seems that there's been some chaos and difficulty. Two fives has changed. So you could be coming out of for some of you, if you've been single for a while, you could be coming out of singleness and starting to date or have this date offer. What else is this? Um, what else? What is this? Six? Holy cow, I can't even shuffle. Okay. So we have the King of Cups. Okay, thank you. So in the past, Pisces. Okay. So in the past, this is referencing... Um, also the, the past experiences, the past memories and love, and perhaps Pisces, you've had a, a, you know, love has been a battleground for you. You've had arguments, conflicts, you know, people trying to get the upper hand. Um, and that's been difficult for you to let go of and mentally. Um, like the memory of that has like, um, I don't want to say like tainted love, but just, made you leery and apprehensive of going forward, right? But what we see here is um, this is the past that has been diminishing your desire to believe in love or to go forward in love or to have that optimism around love. Um, but what we see happening is a new offer is going to come in and the King of Cups is, of course, masculine water energy, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it doesn't have to be that person. It could be embodying um, a person who knows exactly what they want and how they feel, but they're just not showing it. They're in control. They're the master of their emotions. But here it seems as though there's going to be a new, tangible, concrete, stable offer of love extended Pisces. And what is this page of cups for career and finances, please, Spirit? What is this page of cups for career and finances, please? Oops. 
What is this Page of Cups for Career and Finances for Pisces, please, Spirit? What is this Page of Cups, please, for Pisces and Career and Finances? What is this Page of Cups, please, Spirit? Please come near, Spirit, and speak to Pisces. Give them the guidance they need. What is this Page of Cups for Pisces and Career and Finance, please? So we have something very tangible and stable coming, something that you're you're going to be offered something in career and finance that is very stable and will give you reason to celebrate. The Queen of Cups, of course, is Pisces energy here, feminine Pisces energy. And we have the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands can reflect Aries. It does not have to. Um, but here we do, in fact, see that... Um, Okay, I, I just got Pisces, you're going to be celebrated. Somebody is going to come to you or you're going to have something occur in around career and finances that you're going to celebrate or you will be celebrated. And what is the star card for general for Pisces? What do, what do you want Pisces to know about the star card? Okay, get a different deck. I just listen. The cards come out and I read them. And as I go, I just listen to what... I'm told so spirit please show Pisces what you want them to know about the star card please what do you want Pisces to know oops about the star card please what is the star card for Pisces please spirit what do you want Pisces to know about the star what is the star thank you it's kind of weird how it came out ace of wands so we get the ace of wands again a new beginning is coming Pisces a new beginning that's going to be renew that's going to be renewing for you, healing, balancing, and will, the Ace of Wands is passion and desire, and the Star card is wish fulfillment. One more card for the Star card, please. One more card for the Star card. Please, Spirit, please clarify the Star card more. Please clarify the Star card for Pisces general information. <laughs> we get the Star card, guys. This is crazy. So, Pisces, here we have the star card, the ace of wands, and the star card. So clearly, spirit is trying to get a very strong message to you of having hope, of having your wish fulfillment, a new beginning. You know, we see here a new beginning is coming for you, Pisces, that's going to, you know, fulfill some of your desires and your hopes, and there's going to be healing and renewal for you, Pisces. And what is this Ten of Pentacles for the overall outcome for Pisces for this reading. What is the Ten of Pentacles for Pisces in this reading? What do you want Pisces to know about this Ten of Pentacles? What is this Ten of Pentacles for Pisces in this reading for Spirit? And of course, the star card is Aquarius. It doesn't have to be, but it's Aquarian energy. So we get the King of Cups. Okay. And we get the, the Four of Swords. What else? So you're going, you might have an opportunity to settle down or rest or have money coming in that's going to give you some time to relax. What is this Ten of Pentacles for Pisces, please? Please clarify this Ten of Pentacles with a couple more cards, please, Stuart, for this overall outcome for Pisces. Well, please clarify this Ten of Pentacles some more for Pisces. What is this Ten of Pentacles? Some more cards for Ten of Pentacles, please, Stuart. Anything else? So two of wands and temperance, so having balance, healing, um, knight of wands, you're moving out of the five of pentacles energy, you're moving out of a time of any type of lack and loss, um, you're moving towards your stability, Pisces, and you know, you're coming out, the knight of wands is action, um, you're coming out of lack, and you're making the decision to go into healing and into balance, um, and then with the Ten of Pentacles, we have the King of Cups and the Four of Swords. So you're moving into security and stability and healing. Some of you might be taking up a meditation practice. Some of you might just be spending some time in nature um, or in a peaceful place where you're able to like reset. Um, or maybe that's even indicating taking time off work and vacation time and just... Um, 
regrouping. But right now, Pisces, it does seem as though you know, you're taking time to enjoy your security, stability, and and as you allow the flow to come into your life, you know, new opportunities are going to come in, come in for you. Spirit, one card, one oracle card for this message for Pisces. One oracle card. What do you want them to know? Okay. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So that might help you during this time, Pisces, is to focus on, you know, people that are able to manifest also have strong imagination abilities because when you have strong imagination, you're able to see things that do not exist. And that's exactly what manifestation is, right? Like when you take an artist, for example, right? An artist has a blank canvas before them, which is much like your life, right? Your future, right? And when you say, I want to put, you know, I want to make a picture on this canvas. That's the same thing you're doing when you're coming to manifest. You're like, this is what I want this canvas. This is what I want my life to look like. And slowly you start to, you know, think about how that's going to look and what colors that is. And then you start to, you know, sketch it out on the canvas. And that's how you start to think it out in your mind, right? So imagination and manifestation are very, very similar. Spirit, please give Pisces a card of timing or angel answers. One card for this message, please. One card for this message, please. One card for this message, please, Spirit. What do you want Pisces to know? Thank you. Not the right time. Okay, let's see. Spirit, why do we get not the right time? Why do we get not the right time? Please clarify this not the right time. Please clarify. Spirit says in the past it was not the right time. And that made it so you had to wait. Any other cards to clarify this not the right time? In the past it was not the right time. What is this not the right time? Please clarify what you want Pisces to know about this not the right time. Thank you. Yeah, so in, in the past, Pisces, you know, you have been waiting and you didn't see, you didn't understand necessarily why things weren't coming together. And Spirit is saying now, Pisces, in the, in the past, what you were hoping for may not have manifested because it was not in accordance with the d divine timing. If it would have happened at the time before, it would not have been to your benefit. So Spirit is saying, you know, understand that everything is in accordance with divine timing. And, you know, that doesn't, that certainly isn't human time timing or our timing. So overall, Pisces, we do see some decisions and changes and definite, definite wish fulfillment and abundance and satisfaction, new beginnings coming in different areas of your life. I hope this helped you. God bless.